All right, so I am headed back to Hakuba. Hakuba is the Alps of Japan. It's where the 1998 Nagano Olympics happened. And ultimately, um, my goal is simple, to transform Hakuba into a hub and center for blockchain development around the planet. So how am I gonna do that? Well, initially I gotta go there and start talking to folks. The old walk the walk, talk the talk. And build and find supporters behind the vision and idea and establish a team up there. So I'm headed back up there. Now, how did I learn about Hakuba? Well, very simple. Um, I was hired to remove hornets, and I've got some videos. You can do Hakuba Killer Hornets. You can watch my, um, my, my uh, talks and sh uh, videos, uh, my blog, vlog on it. And I was blown away by Hakuba, uh, Hakuba because it's kind of like um, going into a post-apocalyptic, um, you know, uh, European mountainous kind of community. And everything is closed, everything is empty, all these beautiful multi-million dollar houses, which I'm gonna show you here in a moment, and no one there. Well, the story behind Hakuba is this, is that basically, um, um, that was a police car. I'm holding up a camera, <laughs> but I'm not making a phone call. He's not following me. <laughs> so, uh, oh, here's another one. Wow, there's a whole bunch of them. So, basically, the story behind Hakuba is this: is that um, ultimately, it must have been a conference or something in Hakuba. You know, when they announced the Olympics, it would have been around 1990. This was 1998. It's at the by 98, it was, the, it was at the, the, the peak of the um, economic boom in China, in China, Japan. So what happened was, prior to that, hundreds of millions of dollars in whatever yen were poured into Hakuba building up this ski resort. At that, also at that time, skiing was a massive industry in Japan, which has subsequently died. And um, ultimate, well, ultimately, ultimately, um, and what happened was the uh, whole industry went bust and the whole community went bust and about 10 years ago Europeans started coming in and skiing here because they could get here relatively cheap with uh, cheap flights like 400 bucks round trip from uh, Australia and start buying up these facilities so what it's created is this huge winter boom um, 3 million people go through Hakuba every year most of it uh, from December through March and uh, then the rest of the year is dead so the opportunity is to transform that and I'll give some of the views here but this is I'm, I'm headed up into Hakuba the beautiful mountains here and these small little communities and there's a lot of big trucks coming up and down this road but uh, this is on the way up into Hakuba so my goal is simple. I want to kind of create what I'd say the Lollapalooza, the Burning Man for blockchain um, on the planet and and turn the uh, Hakuba season from April through, let's say, October or September, right? September into uh, two sessions. Each session is like 80 days long because your visa, you can, get a th you can get a 90 day visa for Japan. So, um, uh, 80 days, that gives you 10 days kind of leeway, right? And have one for professional and one for students. Um, and have ICOs, have events, have bands, have activities. Every weekend there's activities, rafting, hiking, you know. And if you live in a city like Silicon Valley, or if you live in, in, in you know, Bangladesh, or uh, Dali, or whatever, right, around the world. Um, here's your chance for, for, for 80 days to come to Japan and still work on your passion, work on ICOs, and ultimately uh, have an amazing time and work the rest of the year, slave the rest of the year for this three month, basically three month amazing time up here in the mountains of Japan. And if you love it, ultimately we want to see tech companies establish themselves here, 
uh, facilities establish themselves here, startups. Uh, this can become like what um, a place in um, Shikoku, Kamiyama, is known as the Mountain Silicon Valley of Japan. Um, have this as a place where people can outsource and bring their offices and establish businesses for uh, developers. Because once the developers start coming here, the businesses will start forming here. That's it. So I want to give you some of the drive up there. I've got the camera on mount and I can talk. But this is uh, the little road going up to Hakaba. And um, what's really interesting is you hit these little tunnels. And this is great for motorbikes because there's really, there's no sign here saying that you got to turn left, right? There's no warning, there's no speed, there's no nothing. Just these winding tunnels going up going up uh, to uh, Hakaba. So the idea is actually, uh, there's actually going to be an international airport in Nagano, but right now there's one in uh, Kons uh, uh, Komatsu, where I live. So Komatsu is only a couple hours away, two and a half hours uh, from uh, maybe three hours to here. Some more of the tunnel. I finally got up to a truck. But you can see how much fun this would be riding a motorbike. Except when you hit these trucks like this.